From brains to heavenly bodies, this week brought us some supersized science. For starters, some of the biggest minds in Europe and the US came together this year for a project they call Big Brain, the highest resolution map of the human brain like ever. Revealed this week in the journal Science, the map details the microscopic anatomy of the brain cells in 50 times greater detail than we've ever seen before. And it's all in three dimensions. To make this super brain, which looking back would probably have been a better name for it, neuroscientists sliced the brain of a 65-year-old female donor into 7,400 microscopically thin sections. Then they stained, scanned, and reconstructed them digitally. This super detailed model will allow scientists to explore what they call the brain's cytoarchitecture, or the way its cells are organized and how that structure corresponds with the brain's wiring. To that end, they'll be comparing this anatomical map of the brain to the connectivity maps that we've told you about before, like those created by the Human Connectome Project. By combining these two atlases of human awesomeness, scientists will be able to further explore how brain structure relates to things like cognition, language, emotion, and neurological disorders. And maybe coolest of all, you can use your big brain to explore big brain for yourself. The mappers have made it available to the public for free on their super high resolution website. All you need is a login. Look for the links in the description below. And while you're online, once of course you're done watching this, you can explore another fascinating place in super high resolution, King Tut's tomb. Though he ruled for just 10 years in the 1300s BCE, we know Tutankhamun today because his burial chamber was discovered untouched in 1922, perhaps the most revealing discovery in the archeology span of Egypt. And this week, for the first time, you can see it from your couch in even more detail than you could in person. Egypt's supreme Council of Antiquities hired Spanish firm Factum Arte to create a detailed interactive model of Tut's tomb in the interest of preserving it. As we all learned recently from that Chinese kid who thought it was a good idea to scratch his name on the wall of the Luxor Temple, vandalism is a problem in these ancient sites. But even well-meaning tourists can put stress on antiquities just by walking through them. So the council is hoping the website will catch on as a low-impact way for people to visit ancient Egypt. Factum Arte used high-res scanners to take more than 70 scans and measurements of the tomb to create a painstakingly accurate digital model of Tut's burial chamber. So now you can see in great detail the murals of the tomb which depict the boy king's entry into the afterlife from the delivery of his mummy to the crypt to the 12 hour journey his soul takes to the netherworld as overseen by a dozen baboons. Soon you'll also be able to explore Tut's sarcophagus online as well as the tombs of Seti I who ruled Egypt in the 13th century BCE and Nefertari, one of the most famous so-called royal wives who went out in style with one of Egypt's most extravagant burials. And finally tonight, you can see the moon in supersized detail as well. The internet is calling tonight's moon supermoon because it looks a lot bigger than usual, about 14% bigger. Supermoons occur when a full moon coincides with the perigee, that is the point at which the moon's orbit is closest to the Earth. A perigee happens once a month, but not all perigees are equal. The moon's orbit is elliptical and irregular, so some months the moon is closer than others. This proximity to Earth at perigee runs in cycles, as of course the phases of the moon do, and for reasons that would require an extra pair of hands and probably an astrolabe to explain the full moon and the closest perigee coincide by mere minutes every 13 months and 18 days. That coincidence happened this morning in the Western Hemisphere or last night in the Eastern Hemisphere, but you can still see the supermoon tonight or if you're in the Eastern Hemisphere right now. You can watch it rise over your Eastern horizon just as the sun sets. No telescope required, obviously, but if you want to look for the Apollo Lunar Module or Alan Shepard's golf balls, Now's your chance. Thank you for watching this episode of SciShow News. If you have any questions or comments or ideas for stories you'd like us to cover, you can contact us on Facebook or Twitter, or of course down in the comments below. And if you want to continue getting smarter with us here at SciShow, you can go to youtube.com slash SciShow and subscribe.